everyone! It's Halloween, and the mechanicals can't decide what to dress up as. A teddy bear? That's too cute, Yellow! A devil? That's too dangerous, Red! A snake? That's too clumsy, Blue! Oh dear! At least Baby Truck knows what he wants to dress up as! Baby Truck looks really keen to drive into the big machine! He moves on slowly down the line, and now he's the monster of Frankenstein! Have fun trick or treating Baby Truck, and remember not to scare people unless they want to be scared! Baby Truck heads off down the street, looking for trucks to trick or treat! There's some creepy decorations up for Halloween! Look at this spooky spider! Dylan the dump truck is working hard this Halloween. He's carrying lots of pumpkins for people to carve and turn into jack-o'-lanterns. He hasn't seen Baby Truck creeping up behind him. Ah! Dylan the dump truck jumps with fright and dumps his load of pumpkins all over the road. Oh dear, Baby, that wasn't very kind. Where's Baby Truck off to now? He's creeping past the bus station! Shh, Baby! Bobby the bus is getting some well-deserved rest! What a fright! Poor Bobby! He nearly jumped out of his skin! That wasn't very nice, Baby! How would you like it if someone scared you like that? I think Bobby is a bit cross! Ah, there's Max the monster truck! He's about to test out his new monster tyres, but… uh-oh! Look out, Max! Baby truck's sneaking up behind you! <coughs> dear, dear, dear! I've never seen Max jump so high! Are you okay, Max? Baby truck, that wasn't very friendly! I hope you've done enough trick-or-treating for one Halloween, Baby! Oh no! Baby's hiding behind that wall! Look out, Vicky! Yikes! Poor Vicky! I don't think she'll be serving you an ice cream for a while, Baby! Baby Truck, I think it's time you came over to my garage for a Halloween party! Trick or treat, baby truck! <laughs> it's not very nice to be scared, is it? It's just Max the monster truck in a monster costume. And here's Bobby dressed as a spider, Vicky dressed as a witch, and Dylan dressed as a giant pumpkin. Come on, let's all go trick or treating together. Wait a minute! Are those real ghosts? Ah, don't get us, please, ghosts! Ah, it's just the mechanicals! Leo the limo's coming over to the garage today. He's a super long, stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no! Look out, Leo! Oh dear, Leo's got a scratch down his side now! And he's covered in mud! That's not a good look! You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired! Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks! Leo's wheel is stuck! I call for Helen the helicopter, but there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper, Tilly the tow truck. Go, go, Tilly! <coughs> Tilly the 
Tilly the tow truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear. Look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Trek movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There. Now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Leo turn. Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry, Leo. The mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, Mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, Mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow Mechanicals. Green, blue and purple Mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals brown mechanical and pink mechanical hang on a minute it looks like the mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us goodness me they're all coming out of the woodwork Leo might be a stretch limo but he can't possibly carry all these extra mechanicals to the premiere he's going to need some help here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, and Bobby the bus. Hmm, I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. Next is Trevor the tractor. Two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle is Bobby the bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into stretch trucks. Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha! 
Ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome, Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry, Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the stretch tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the stretch monster truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him like a string bean. It's Bobby XL plus plus plus. It's super long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor, seven crates long. Max the monster truck, eight crates long. Dylan the dump truck, is nine crates long. And last but definitely not least, Bobby the bus is 10 crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film, even my truck friends. Hooray! There's a new vehicle in town today. Her name's Evie. She's clean and quiet and speedy. Evie's driven a long way today, so she wants to stop off at Gecko's garage for a rest. Oh dear, what's happened to Evie? She was zooming along and now she's slowed right down. She must be very tired. You'd better get over to Gecko's garage, Evie. Quickly, uh, I mean slowly.
Hello, Evie. You seem very slow and sluggish. Hmm. I think you might need refueling. Drive round to our fuel pumps and we'll soon get you sorted out. Right now, let's get you filled up with fuel. Oh, where's your fuel cap? Hmm, that's very strange. I can't see it anywhere. How can we fill up your fuel tank if there's nowhere to put the fuel in? Something seems wrong here. Head into the garage and let's have a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Evie turn. Evie looks like a normal car, but where does her fuel go? And no exhaust pipe either. What's wrong? I just don't know. There's something that I'm missing, a nagging little doubt. I'll wake up the mechanicals to check her engine out. Go, go mechanicals! What, what, what's going on? It's empty. Evie, where's your engine? How can you drive around without an engine? Oh, Evie. Oh, E, V. E, V. Electric vehicle. Of course. Evie is an electric car. Instead of a petrol or diesel engine to power the car, Evie has electric motors that drive her wheels and batteries hidden under her seats, which store all of the electricity she needs. That's why she's so quiet. She doesn't have an exhaust pipe belching out nasty fumes or a fuel tank because she fills up with electricity instead. Evie. You need to be plugged in to charge up. We have two regular fuel pumps, but no electric car charging point. We'll have to install one. I'll get Florence the forklift to bring the parts over and we can build one. Well done, Mechanicals. That's looking great. The electric charging point is connected to the solar panels on the garage roof that Chelsea the Cherry Picker helped us to install. Here's the charging cable. Now, where on Evie do we plug it in? Brilliant! Evie has a charging socket hidden in her nose. So now Evie can fill up with clean electricity using energy from the sun. The charging station tells us how full of electricity Evie is. Look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's full up. Fantastic! We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey! That's my toolbox! Rick! We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the ice cream van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. 
It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit. But we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone. Those smoothies look great. Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Millie the police motorbike has had to stop Larry the lorry. He delivers parcels and packages all over the country. He looks so full, his sides might burst. Millie needs to escort Larry to Gecko's garage so that we can help him. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help, a vehicle in need. Hiya Larry, it looks like you're carrying too many packages and they haven't been loaded very well. Shall we take a look? Go, go mechanicals! What a mess, I'm really sorry, but that's no way to pack a lorry. Let's take some time and care with it. I'm sure we'll make these boxes fit. 
the biggest parcel should go in first. With the smallest one on top. That blue parcel on the left. And the red one on the right. Let's put this parcel in the gap up at the top. And put the last parcel in that gap down at the bottom. There, all sorted. Now that everything is packed away neatly, it all fits in properly. See you again soon, Larry. Good luck with all your deliveries. Okay. Oscar the bus works with his friend Bobby, carrying passengers around town. Here they come. Wow, Bobby's fast. Oh dear, it looks as if Oscar's having trouble keeping up with Bobby. Oscar is slow. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Oscar hasn't arrived yet, so let's take a look at Bobby first. Bobby is big and shiny and new. He can carry lots of passengers and they stay warm and dry inside. There's certainly nothing wrong with you, Bobby. Off you go and pick up your passengers. We'll stay here and wait for Oscar. Hello, Oscar. You made it at last. Let's take a good look at you. Bobby was big and shiny and new. But Oscar is small and rusty and old. His top deck has no roof, so his passengers get cold and wet in the winter. I know you feel tired and sad, Oscar, but I don't think you're ready to retire yet. Perhaps you just need a new job. Why not let Bobby take all the passengers to work and school? And you could become a summer tour bus showing visitors all the sights and sounds of the town. Let's get the mechanicals to fix you up, give you a fresh coat of paint, and get you ready for your new job. Go, go, mechanicals! I know you're feeling old and tired, but there's no need to fuss. Visitors to an old, old town would love an old, old bus. You won't need Bobby's sat-nav, to find your way around. You've lived right here for 80 years. You know every sight and sound. There'll be time to enjoy the sights because you're slow and steady. And what a view from your top deck. Cameras at the ready. And when each summer's over and the tourists go away, spend the winter at Gecko's Garage. What a cozy place to stay. There we go, Oscar. The mechanicals have fixed you up a treat. You look very smart, and I think you're ready to start your new job. And you have your first customers already, the mechanicals. They deserve a fun trip around the town after all their hard work. I hope Oscar and the mechanicals enjoy their tour of the town. Being a tour bus sounds like a lot of fun, and Oscar is perfect for the job. See you next time for more Gecko's Garage. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!